In this video, you will learn how to add a custom material to your camera. So I already prepared a small scene, so we have something to see besides the skybox. If we run the game, you will see that we have some floor and a rotating cube. What we want to do is add a post-processing effect to our camera. Or to put it simply, take a material and apply it to what we see in the game. The problem is that if you look at the inspector, there's no field for a material. So you may assume that it's not an option. Turns out that there is a way, but it will require us to write a custom script. So what we are going to do is create a script called camera effect. Next, we're going to use a built-in method called onRenderImage. Inside this method, we will first check if we have a material available. If not, we're going to call this method to render the camera as normal and return out of the function. This line is important because without it, we will end up not rendering the camera at all. And what we will end up seeing is a black screen. Next, if the material is available, we're going to call the same method with the same parameters but we're gonna add the third one, which will be our material. Now that's done, let's add our script to the camera and create a material, which we're gonna use for it. We're gonna also need a shader for our material, so let's create an image effect shader. And inside the shader, we'll change the hidden keyboard to custom, so we can access it in the editor. Let's make our material use the shader. And let's add our material to our script. For convenience, let's go to our script and also add an attribute which will make our script execute in the editor, so we don't have to run the game. And also let's add an attribute which will make sure that the script can only be applied to an object with a camera component. Now that's done. As you can see, our game view has changed. By default, the image effect shader inverts the color values. Our colors consist of three values, red, green and blue, which each go from 0 to 1 in a shader. What it does is take a value, let's say 1, and convert it to a 0. If it would be 0.8, it would convert it to a 0.2. If you want to, you can check the shader yourself. It contains a relatively simple math equation. Okay, let's test our scene. And as you can see, our scene is running smoothly as it did previously. But all the colors are inverted. If you want to, you can change your material at any point during the runtime. If you enjoyed the tutorial, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. If you wish to check the source code, I left a link in the description.